Morning. Maligaya ang araw po ng pagsamba sa lahat sa milyong milyong taong nandito. <laughs> Let's greet each other in peace and love. Look at the person next to you, to the person at uh, at your back, no? Do sa tao sa harapan mo. Kaway-kaway naman diyan at uh, sabihin mo sa kanila, happy Sunday sa iyo. I'm so glad to see you again. Alam niyo, malaking encouragement sa isang Kristiyano na makita ang kanyang kapatid tuwing linggo, right? Pero kahit na wala yung iba dito, eh, nasa puso natin sila. At kasama naman natin sila na nanonood ngayon sa ating Facebook and YouTube Live. Tell the person next to you, Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit my best friend. Why do we call the Holy Spirit our best friend? In fact, the Holy Spirit is the uh, somehow no, uh, considered as uh, a lot of people consider the Holy Spirit na parang less valuable dun sa triune God, right? No, parang, parang mas bida ang God the Father, si Jesus, no? but not that the Holy Spirit. Pero alam niyo ba na iisa lang no? ang ating Panginoon no? in, a, in a form of Trinity? Without the doubt, no, we can say that the Holy Spirit is our best friend. No? More than pa doon sa best friend na kilala mo ngayon at naiisip mo agad pag sinabing best friend. No, no one comes close to supporting, encouraging, or helping us like the Holy Spirit does. Here's the Father's promise. No? The down payment of our inheritance. God's special gift. I am grateful that the Father and Jesus take care of global matters. But it is the Holy Spirit who brings heaven's care to me personally. Right? Only by receiving salvation... Through Christ, of course, doon tayo magiging candidate for the indwelling of the Holy Spirit. Then, if we ask in faith, God's Spirit will live in us. Now, that's the good news. The Holy Spirit is at work when we are aware of His presence. And the good news is, when we are not aware of His presence also, He's also at work. He's consistent. Once we receive Him, we do not need to continually ask Him to come to us because He lives in us. We should, however, ask for His manifest presence. Then we feel Him, see His work, and witness His power. There are at least 12. Tell the person next to you, 12. There are 12 blessings available to us if we have the Holy Spirit. He does not impose them on us, but encourages us to enjoy them. No? Ako naniniwala, pagdating ng panahon sa langit, walang pilitan. Walang tao doon na pinilit. Right? Lahat doon nag-agree. Lahat doon tumanggap. Amen? Alam the benefits increase Dramatically, the more we fellowship with Him, is the, is the formula. The more we fellowship with Him, with the Holy Spirit, that is why the Bible tells us to be filled with the Spirit. Diba? Naalala niyo yun? Uh, be, be filled with the Spirit, no, not with the Spirit of wine. We are filled with the Spirit as we worship, as we pray, as we exercise spiritual gifts. No? Then we experience His manifest presence, his power and grace become more intense and we have supernatural encounters. God does not give His Spirit in limited measure. We limit Him in our lives when we ignore Him. Right? Nasaan na nga ba ang Diyos? May mga kanta pa, natutulog ba ang Diyos? Ba't hindi ko siya maramdaman? You see, here's the thing. If you don't feel... No, yung presence ng Panginoon. It's not because the presence of God left you. 
It's because he decided to leave the presence of God. Never. He will abandon you. Never. He will forsake you. It's your decision to live. Here are the 12 things that the Holy Spirit does for us, enable for us to understand more what is the Holy Spirit or who is the Holy Spirit. Number one, look at the first The Holy Spirit adapts us. There was this, uh, I, I told you before, I was a store manager in Jollibee. No? I was assigned in is it and recto in Manila, in the University Belt. And uh, I had a good friend who also works in McDonald's Is it and recto. We became friends together with their crew, together with my crew. We play basketball. Now, usually from like 11 o'clock in the evening until 2 o'clock in the morning. Every week, we play basketball with, with McDonald's. And... Uh, there was a point in time na you no know, we are having a hard time winning against them. What I did is hired a crew, not necessarily because he is uh, qualified to be a he's you no know, this guy was a team B player of National University. So he needs a job, the job. <laughs> because I need to go rest back dito sa mga taga McDonald's. No? So, and then when we started playing again, hindi na sila manalo. Kasi this kid is tall and very talented sa basketball. And one thing na ginagawa ko is that uh, 60, 70 of them, they always uh, join me in our church in San Juan and uh, I conduct PDL or Purpose Driven Life. It's a Bible study. So, it's a fun Bible study. It's more of a question and answer about life and everything. And then, there is this guy. Six foot three. No? Tahimik. Suddenly, as a question, sabi niya, Sir, I already accepted Jesus. No? Tinanggap ko na siya sa puso ko. Alam ko eh. Pero here's the thing. Bakit I don't feel like na I am part of the family? Sabi ko, bakit naman gano'n nararamdaman mo? Kasi, dumaki ako sa lolo't lola ko. And when I was growing up, all the kids, no, growing up with me, together growing up with me, ako. ang tawag nila sa akin, ampon, 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 ampon. Hanggang sa lumaki ako, ampon, 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 ampon. And I feel, I feel like para bakit ganun hindi ako parang feeling ko hindi ako part ng family kasi sir sabi niya and together with the other 50 crew members who are listening he just suddenly you know uh, uh, shared his story one night my father no, uh, went to this place my mother went to this place they met up they made love and there was me. I was born nine months after. The problem, the problem is, my father has his own and my mother has her own family. So growing up in my grandparents, I felt like I don't belong to any family. Here's the question. Ang tanong niya sa akin, Sir, paano ko makikilala yung Diyos bilang ama ko kung hindi naman ako nakaramdam ng pagmamahal sa isang magulang. Sabi ko, Lord, hindi ko to kaya. Hindi ko to carry, ah. This is above my pay grade. Hindi ko kaya tong sagutin. Unless bigyan mo ako ng wisdom, eh, mahirap sagutin tong tanong na to. And the Holy Spirit gave me an answer right away. And I'm sure it, 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 it didn't come from me. I told him, remember Jesus? He was born, no? He's now out of wedlock. 
Bakit? Because Mary was pregnant before she got married, right? Jesus was born like you. Pero here's the thing. We have kids, no? Most of you have kids. And you felt like these kids were given by God to you. These are your responsibilities. No choice. Aalagaan mo yan, mamahalin mo yan, pag-aarali mo yan, papakainin mo yan. Dahil mahal mo ang Diyos, mahal mo yung mga bata. But, if you have children not physically came from you, and you decided to take care of them, love them, there is no far greater love than that. Correct? Kasi, wala, yung parent ko, inaalagaan ako, kasi, dali sa kanya eh. Wala naman siyang choice. Pero yung, hindi ko, nag-decide, ampunin ako, mahalin ako, para sa akin, mas blessed yun. Kaya sabi ko, bukod sa kanya, kung meron pang ampun sa inyo, dapat you should be proud. Pag tinawag kayo, ampun, 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 sumagot kayo, totoo, ampun ako. Dahil yung parent mo, walang choice. Yung umampun sa akin, may choice. Yun ang pag-ibig. Amen? And that is the only, the Holy Spirit can give that kind of answer. And this guy felt like, oh now, I feel I belong. When somebody will call me, Ampon, I'll be proud. Diba? Kasi Jesus himself, no? Naka-experience to eh. What do we mean by the Holy Spirit adapts us? Those who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. You receive the, the Spirit of adoption. By Him, we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself testifies that we are God's children. Romans 8, 14 to 16. You yourself, ang po ng Panginoon. Right? I think for lang kay Paul. Kasi si Paul, nag, uh, nag-preach a Gentile. He preached the Gentile. Tandaan mo, hindi ka naman na Israelite eh. Gentile side, di ba? Tayo mismo ang po. He accepted us. The Spirit, the joins us with God and makes us family. No? Tinanggal niya yung barrier na, o oh, ito, Gonzales family, o oh, ito, uh, Sempron family, o oh, ito, uh, Pagyo family. No, no, walang ganon. He created a big family na lahat included. Number two, tell the person next to your spirit, You see, sabi ni Henry Drummond, nag-text sa akin kanina. Sabi niya, souls are made sweet. No? Not by taking the acid fluids out. But by putting something in a new spirit. And that is the spirit of Christ. One good thing about God is that He's not in the business of changing you. Kasi ikaw pa rin naman yan eh. Before I got born again, I was still the same, Jeff. Walang binago. Ang binago yung puso. Kung ikaw, yung dati na makulit, ikaw pa rin naman ngayon eh. Hindi ka na nga lang masyado nagkakasala dahil mayroong ang spirit ng Panginoon. Kung ikaw, yung dating madaldal, madaldal ka pa rin ngayon. Kung yung ikaw, kasi we had this concept na kapag born again na ako, nakiklard na Masyado magsasalita. Tayos na ako. Tayo. What if that is not your personality? Right? The Lord is not in the business of changing who you are. The Lord is in the business of changing your heart, your attitude, no? yung perspective mo. But being you as you, masiyahin, or uh, uh, palabasa, or, or, or ano ba yun, mahilig sa isang bagay, hindi niya babaguhin yun. You're still the same. No? It's not, uh, souls are, sabi nga ni Henry Drummond, souls are made sweet not by taking the acid fluids out, but by putting something in. And that is the Spirit of Christ. This is our text for this morning, John 14, 16, 17. And I will ask 
the Father, and He will give you another counselor. So the Holy Spirit comes from the Father, presented by Jesus Christ, no? To be with you forever. Kasi mag siya sa heaven eh. And He is the Spirit of Truth. The world is unable to receive Him. Hindi siya kilala ng mundo na to because it doesn't see Him or know Him. Unlike you, a believer, but you do know Him because He remains with you and will be in you. Before may commercial lang ano eh, ng sabon sa Pilipinas, sabon ba yun? Ako ang iyong konsensya. Naalala niyo, commercial. <laughs> Safeguard! Ang galing niyo. <laughs> Halata na ang edad niyo. <laughs> Safeguard, naalala niyo. Ako ang inyong konsensya. Di ba? It kills 99%. Hindi ko na umaintindan. Ba't yung 1% hindi mapatay-patay hanggang ngayon? Ano? <laughs> Pero imagine, you know, kilala natin yung ating konsensya. Para sa mga unbelievers, ang tawag nila doon, yan ang konsensya mo, nagsasalita na huwag mong gawin to. Kung ikaw believer, hindi konsensya yun. Conscience no, is a manifestation of the Holy Spirit talking to you not to do that, to do this, not to do that, to do this. This will be better for you, that will be bad for you because He is leading you, guiding you, advising you, helping you. The Holy Spirit comforts minds. He's in the business of consoling hearts and healing bodies. He helps us bear sorrows and He restores hope. Without the Holy Spirit, when we experience no, uh, what my wife was uh, talking about earlier, it would be hard for us. Imagine the doctor telling you, oh, just go to the prayer room and pray. It was very hard. Seeing your child uh, dying, right? You see, the most amazing blessings follow. The benefits are beyond any other. Once you are God's, pag ikaw na sa Panginoon na, the Holy Spirit goes with you into your future, right? If failure, weakness, trauma, abandonment, desertion, loneliness, Bankruptcy, divorce, war, sickness, COVID-19, imprisonment, persecution, pain, or any other disaster comes against you, the Holy Spirit stays with you to help. Amen? Number three, tell the person next to you, the Holy Spirit directs our path. Nag-text din sa akin kanina si Henry Blackaby. Sabi niya, pakisabi nga sa congregation, no? God speaks through a variety of means. In the present, God primarily speaks by the Holy Spirit through the Bible, prayer, circumstances, and the church. You see, God speaks through the Holy Spirit using you as the church, using circumstances, even just attending a simple Bible study, attending a prayer and fasting, the Holy Spirit will always speak. What happened to Peter? Sabi niya, three men stopped where I was staying. The Spirit told me to have no hesitation about going with them. It was the Holy Spirit urging him, Peter, go. One good thing naman about a believer, no, is that you follow, you obey when the Holy Spirit says you to go. Same thing with Paul. Paul and companions tried to enter Bithynia, but the Holy Spirit would not allow them. Why? Because there is something na hindi papabor sa kanila. So the Holy Spirit will guide you. Even Jesus. Jesus was led by the Spirit. Look for one. Peter Paul and Jesus were led by the Spirit. He leads and directs our plans if we look to Him for guidance. That is why if you're planning, no, concerning about your family, concerning about your career, your work, your marriage, 
your ministry in the church. Never plan alone. No? And then submit to God, Lord, paki approve. Stamp approve. No. Write down your plans and then ask the Lord, Lord, here are. Please feel na baguhin yung mga ayo mo at umayon sa mga gusto mo. Bakit? Kasi kahit na gaano kaganda tingnan ang plano mo, if that is not the plan of God, it will fail. Amen? Kahit na anong ganda ng plano natin sa ministry natin dito, if we did not submit it to God, it will fail. Number four, tell the person next to you, the Holy Spirit teaches us. Inuturuan niya tayo. There was a point in time in my life, wala akong maintindihan sa pagbabasa ng Biblia. There was a point in time, Lord, my new year, I was encouraged is to be a good person. So I try my very best to read Bible. I will start with Genesis 1. And then I will end with Genesis 1 verse 2. Hindi ko matuloy eh. Bakit? Hindi ko maintindihan. Dumating ba kayo sa point na ganun? Napilit mo siyang gustong basahin, pero hindi mo siya maintindihan. Until I accepted Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior, and the Holy Spirit resides in my heart. This time, ay na tumigil na utak ko. There was a point, no? When I was... Bible, yung para bang nanood ka ng Korean novela, umaga hanggang umaga. Right? Lahat na intindihan ko. Hindi naman ako magaling mag-English. No? Ang masakit, sabi ko, baka hindi ko lang kayang intindihan kasi English. Kumuha ako ng, ng, ano, ng Tagalog Bible, mas hindi ko naintindihan. <laughs> Ang lalim naman ng Tagalog. Right? You see, the Lord teaches us. Sabi natin, di ba? The Holy Spirit na Isitan Recto, Luneta Park, no? Rizal Park, Jollibee Branches. Yung Isitan Recto, katabi niyan, Kapu area yan eh. Sa Kapu area, madaming DVD dyan. I was walking, uh, pauwi na ako. No? Well, I'm a red hot. No? I, I was tempted during uwi ko na para sa isip ako na madami doon mga inappropriate DVD, DVD and for some reason sabi ko, Lord help me I'm having this struggle na I wanna buy one, at least one wala naman nakakita sa akin wala naman nakakita sa akin and then, Lord, help me. And then somebody, go. Brother Jeff, anong ginagawa mo dito? <laughs> ano, 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 mali, mali. Nakita ko pa. Sabi ko, kilala ko to ha, taga church to ha. Sabi ko sa kanya, bro, anong ginagawa mo dito? Sabi niya, Brother Jeff, ikaw ba yan? Sabi niya, anong ginagawa mo dito? Wala pa uwi na ako eh. Tapos, uh, uh, sabi niya, bibili daw siya ng TV doon sa Kiapo. Yung mga second-hand TV. But here's the thing. Humirit pa yung enemy. Yung church may kubulag yun eh. Alam niya nandito ka. Hindi kita May kumalabit naman sa akin. Sabi ko, Lord, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. May kumalabit naman sa akin sa likod ko. Brother, asawa niya, yun nakakakita. <laughs> Umuwi na ako. You see, the Holy Spirit will teach you. You just need to obey. You just need to listen. Right? The Spirit will teach you in all things. John 14, 26. The Holy Spirit is our teacher. He instructs us. He corrects us. He teaches us. He instructs us. In a sense na pwede kanyang turuan na basahin yung Biblia mo. He corrects us. 
na on the spot, na mali ang iniisip mo, temptation na yan. Umalis ka na. Kasi kasunod yan, pag sumunod ka, right? Number five, tell the person next to you, the Holy Spirit changes us. When I was in college, I was called by uh, the dean in the dean's office. I said, it's ako dun sa dean's list. Ay hindi, pagpasok ko, pinagalitan ako. No, somebody accused me of saying bad things against her. So she called my attention, asked me to enter her office. Ma'am, sino po ba yung nagsabi? Who told you that? Sabi niya, this girl. Sabi ko, Please call her kasi wala ako talaga sinasabing ganun. And then the, the girl came, sabi niya, oh, di ba sinabi mo ito, ganito sinabi ni Mr. Giwa, ganito ganyan, ganito ganyan. Sabi niya, ma'am, hindi ako sigurado eh, kasi nabanggit kong pangalan, yung pangalan niya, kasi pangalan niya ito sa bulletin board. Sabi ko, nako, malingkuhan ng pangalan. <laughs> Nadamay ako. Pero you know what? If it is was clear na nagkamali yung din, hindi siya nag-sorry. Sama ng loob ko nun. Kasi 30 minutes mo akong pinapagalitan, hindi ko pala kasalanan. Right? Hindi siya nag-sorry. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. No? During that time, naborn na gana ako. And I was so furious. Naiinis ako, nagagalit ako. At least man lang, sabi ko sana, nag-sorry sa akin. Pero the Lord reminded me of this, Galatians 4, 5.22. You see, when the Lord reminded me of this, no, I was told by God that the Holy Spirit changes one's character. No, from being a person na sobrang, you know, magagalitin, yung Holy Spirit talaga yung mag, mag-aayos sa puso mo eh. He will remove the pride and replaces it with a Christ-like disposition. I don't know. I don't know with you. You can ask my children. I have three children. Many times, I ask for forgiveness to them if there's anything that I've done wrong. It doesn't mean na porque din ka ng college. It doesn't mean na ikaw ay parent. It doesn't mean na, na you're old. It doesn't mean na you're more matured. Eh, you have the right not to apologize. No? The Holy Spirit, if you have the Holy Spirit in you, no? you, will, uh, you, you will allow the Holy Spirit to change you from within. Right? Number six, no, tell me next to you, the visions are. You see, you need to trust the vision of God given to your leader. We have so many leaders. In our home, we have, you know, our parents. In our uh, workplace, we have our bo- bosses, managers, CEOs, or uh, supervisors. In, 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 our, in our church, we have our board, we have our pastoral staff and everything. You see, that is a correct picture of uh, being a visionary. Leading is having no, uh, a binocular or telescope na looking at the far distant, distance and seeing what is about to happen. No? Good followers no, they are not able. No? They can put it sa banka, pero in their hearts, we believe, we trust our leader. Sagwan lang na sagwan. Pag sinabi ng leader sagwan sagwan. Are you familiar familiar with dragon boat racing? Diba? Lahat ng member member paddle. Pero mayroong isa doon, walang paddle. That person, what? 
holds the drums. Siya yung nagbibigay ng beat. Tug. Bibigay siya ng beat, yun yung sagwan nyo. Right? You may think na that person is, you know, parang di naman siya importante. Kasi una, pabigat lang siya. Pangalawa, nagdala pa ng drums. <laughs> Hindi na hindi na lang kumuha ng sagwa na tumulong pero he's the most important person sa bangka. Bakit? Siya nagbibigay ng pacing. Siya nagsasabi saan pupunta. Siya na nagsasabi kung ano. Yun ang Holy Spirit sa atin. Amen. Even also we need to put trust no in our parents, authorities above us, in our bosses, managers, church leaders, not because they are worth trusting but because the Holy Spirit assigned them to lead us. Amen? In Acts 2, 17, 18, I will pour out my Spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Young men will see visions. Old men will dream dreams. I was in the Spirit and there before me was a throne in heaven. Revelations 4.2 we need to say yes to God. Tell the person next to you, say yes to God. The Lord wants to use you, right? You see, visions are glimpses of the supernatural realm. The Spirit allows us to see beyond the natural realm so we may work together with God. We just need to have faith and listen, no? Ang magandang visionary leader, kagaya ng Holy Spirit. No? People who are leading us, they can see, and they have this ability to detect that there is trouble ahead. Sasabihin niya yun sa'yo. Number seven, tell the person next to you, the Holy Spirit equips us. Teamwork. That makes the dream work. No? But the, you need the Holy Spirit to equip you. You need to work with the Holy Spirit. We need to work with one another. What do I mean by this? In 1 Corinthians 12, 8-11, to 11, it says, To what is given through the Spirit wisdom. To another, knowledge. Yung iba daw sa inyo, binigyan ng Panginoon ng wisdom. Yung iba, knowledge. Yung iba, faith. Yung iba, gifts of healing. Yung iba, binigyan sa inyo ng prophecy. Uh, miraculous powers, no? Uh, yung iba sa inyo, binigyan, binigyan ng Panginoon ng distinguishing of spirits. Yung, alam mo na, yung tipong, oh, trouble ahead dyan, huwag mong gawin yan. To another, speaking in tongues. To another, the interpreta interpretation of speaking of tongues. Nakarinig na ba kayo ng gano'n? Mayroon tayong mga kapatid na gano'n, mga Pentecostal, they speak in tongues. No? And others can interpret what they're speaking at. Uh, speaking about. And all of these are work of the Spirit. So if we work together, we can dream together. Here's the thing. A lot of leaders thought na nasa kanila lahat yung giftings. Yun yung pinakamali. Kung feeling mo tinawag ka, na ako, ako ang ano, ako tinawag na evangelist, prophet, apostle, Pastor, teacher, akin lahat siyang gift na yan. And everybody will just follow me. Hindi ganun din isayin ng Panginoon. Everybody no, will have a contribution sa ministry. These gifts are given to equip us for supernatural ministry. Pansin niyo, lahat na mga church na healthy, maraming gifted na kresyano ang nagko-contribute ng kanilang talent. Lahat ng mga church na unhealthy, isa, dalawa lang ang feeling nila gifted sila. And everybody else will just listen. Right? Number eight, tell the person next to you, the Holy Spirit empowers us. See, sharing our faith to our friends, to our relatives, we need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. I tell you the truth. You see, struggling every day against the enemy, we need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. 
rebuilding a church, we need the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. But in Acts 1, 8, we see power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And in that same uh, scenario, 3,000 were added to their number. Eh kung mangyayari ngayon yun, ang laking problema natin, 150 lang ang capacity ng simbahan natin. Sa mo, sa mo dadalhin yung iba na libo-libo. You see, authority comes to those who are filled with the Holy Spirit. Ulitin ko, authority comes to those who are filled with the Holy Spirit. They have power over demons and authority with men. Number nine, the Holy Spirit liberates us. What do we mean by this? 2 Corinthians 3.17, Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Right? The Spirit removes the hindrances from our lives so we may be free. Then we can be all God has called us to be. Sin imprisons us. But if we live by the Spirit, we are freed from sin. I remember I was, in, I, was, I was a prisoner before. You see, have you heard this uh, saying na, wala, mahirap talaga tanggalin eh. Kahit anong gawin ko. No? Mahirap talaga tanggalin ang paninigarilyo at pag-inom. Have you heard that? To a lot of people. Do you know, that? Do you know what? It's true. It's true. Even though, good-hearted, talaga, clean intention, gusto mong tanggalin, it's very hard. I was a prisoner of that before. Unless, unless the Holy Spirit will work in you, it would be very, very hard. No? And the Holy Spirit helped me a lot, no? Being free from those vices. Galatians 5.1 I shared this in uh, one of the devotions that uh, we're having every day. It says here, For freedom, Christ set us free. Stand firm, then don't submit again of slavery. Your name is free. Tell the person next to you, Your name is free. My name is Jeff Free. See, driving through Temecula, California last month, we spent our Christmas together in quarantine in San Diego. I spotted some longhorn cattle. No? Longhorn cattle are like this. Now, being a Pinoy, I've seen a lot of uh, cattle in my life. I don't know, cows and carabaos. Diba? Familiar tayo dyan. Boatloads of carabaos. Ang dami. In fact, no? Uh, but but, but I, I had never seen any anything like this. Nakakita na ba kayo ng ganyan? Na in person? Di ba? Ang haba nung yung baka nila dito ang haba ang sungay. Di ba? Ano yan? Mas matigas ba ulo ng baka dito kasi sa baka natin kasi mahaba yung sungay nila. You see, the cattle were meandering or following a winding course with their heads dipped so low that one horn actually dragged on the ground, as they walk, nakasadsad yung kanyang horn. No? Ganito yung tsura. I asked one of the locals what was wrong with the cattle. Were they sick? Were they injured? Ah, no, no. Sabi ng local. He said, their horns were so heavy, they were no longer able to hold their heads high as they walk, ang bigat kasi ng sungay. I knew right then that I had spent years with a posture just like that. I so heavily carried the burden of names that pushed me down and held me back that I was no longer working with my head held high either. Jesus, let's just be reminded, Jesus didn't come to earth, live a perfect life, Die a sacrificial death with nail-pierced hands, sword-pierced pierced side, and torn-pierced brow. 
and raised from the dead so we could remain burdened by the yoke of slavery. He didn't free us from our sin, from our past, and from our pain so we could reattach the chains of our sin, our past, our pain, and all of those old names we keep hauling around with us, just like the long heart cutter. Be reminded, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. How do we find freedom? To walk with our heads held high. We've got to start letting go of the old names that have hunted us. Maybe it was the playground bullies that made fun of you and you took on the name Worthless. Maybe it was a parent who abandoned you just like the person I was talking to earlier and, you and he took the name Insecure. Maybe it was a terrible decision you made and you adopted the name Not Enough. Maybe your kids making choices that are breaking your heart and you claim the name Broken. I don't know what hurt you, you've encountered and what names you've taken on. But I'm absolutely confident that God doesn't want to leave you in that hurt. Amen? He wants to usher us into healing in our lives. That's why now, with the help of the Holy Spirit, your name is no longer your name, but now your name is free. Number 10, as we end Almost, the Holy Spirit, tell the person next to you, unifies us. You see, I value integrity. I don't usually solicit money from people who trust me. But uh, the Lord rebuked me. Why you have that thinking? Speak for yourself. Why not think of perspective, perspective that you're giving an opportunity to people to be of a blessing to other people, right? It's not about you soliciting money. It's not about your integrity. It's about people, an opportunity to bless other people so that their hearts will be blessed. And so I can also bless them and multiply all their givings. <clears throat> then there was COVID-19. Last year, probably December, then March, I was hired here, March 1, and then probably second Sunday, we closed down. We had this lockdown, remember? <coughs> probably March, April. <laughs> like, I was talking to Pastor Bert. We were talking almost once a week uh, uh, sa phone during the lockdown. Remember, Pastor Bert, na pag-usapan natin? We need to do something. It's not, it's not enough na, it's, this is not the time na magtatago tayong mga pastor. Right? This is not the time na dapat maramdaman tayo mga, this is the time na dapat maramdaman tayo mga Krisano. And then, I was talking to a friend, no, may discipleship kami, uh, he's in the Philippines, he used to be part of our church before dito, he's also in Nazarene, no, and uh, he's printing something, while we, talk, we were talking, it was like 2 a.m. in the morning in the Philippines, he was printing something, it's a 3D printing, akala ko naglalaro lang siya, mahilig kasi yun na mag, magkalikot ng kung ano-ano. And then, I asked him, what are you printing? Sabi niya, nagpiprint ako ng mga bulbs no, para sa uh, maging benti mask. So, ikakabit ito sa lahat ng COVID patients na para diretso, ikakabit na dun sa tubo ng oxygen. Sabi ko, why are you doing that? Sabi niya, I find this uh, an, a good opportunity to help other people. Kasi during that time, surging talaga yung, uh, yung uh, COVID-19. No? So I told him, how, could, how can I be of help? No? Here's the thing, ang laki ng demand ng printing. Eh yung printing, mabagal yun eh. So they need more printers. At yung 3D printers, hindi naman ganun kamura yun. Hindi yun yung ordinary printer. Mahal yun eh. No? So ito yung mga mas na ginagawa nila. Sabi ko, I wanna be part of that. No? Kasi that is something, no, 
you know, the Holy Spirit is urging me, you need to touch the hearts of people. So, what I did is ask my good friends you know, to let us help in this small project. I also asked some people in the church here and some uh, with, uh, with, with other uh, friends sa ibang churches na to help. And they said, yes, let's do that. No? So, we were able no, to not produce only venti mask, no? pati yung na, na, uh, nabigyan natin din ng uh, ito yung itsura niyan. No? Ito yung itsura ng piniprint. Yung dineliver natin. Yan yung team na bumubuo. So, mga inventor sila, pinaten na nila yan. So, not only that, hindi lang yun, nakagawa rin tayo, nakabili rin tayo ng mga film para maging face shield ng mga barangay tanod, ng mga police, ng mga sundalo during those times. So, naramdaman nila. When they are, when, when they are being asked, Santo Galing, kaling kay Lord. Walang bida-bida, si Lord ang bida. Right? So, yan, yun yung mga finished product na ginawa. No? We were all baptized by one spirit into one body. 1 Corinthians 12, 13. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit. Ephesians 4, 3. You see, sometimes, when you see something that may need, it's not enough na to tell that person, I will pray for you. Sometimes, listen to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit may urge you that you need to do something. Here's the thing. No? With my almost 20 years in ministry, hindi talaga ako usually nag ask no, ng money to help other people. No? May, exemption, may exemption lang. Ito na nangyari ng COVID-19. And ang ginawa ko, in ko lang yung mga tao na alam ko na malapit sa akin. And then, we made it, uh, I think, uh, naka, nakagawa tayo ng libo-libo na printed na venti mask. Diba? And that is to lift up the name of the Lord. You see, the Holy Spirit draws us to unity. The more of the Spirit we have, the more we will embrace unity in Christ. Paano mo ipapaliwanag sa tao si Kristo? Pinakamadali, ipaliwanag mo sa pamamagitan ng pagtulong ng walang palipaliwanag. Sabihin mo lang, dahil kay Kristo. Pinakamadaling intindihin yun. Kasi kung magtatalo pa kayo ng debate ng mga verses and everything, kung sino mas magaling, kung Baptist, Pentecostal, Nazarene, o kung sino, Katoliko, o Iglesia ni Kristo, walang mangyayari. Just do it. Do something for others. Remember the two no, most important law. Two most, most important commandment. Love God and love your neighbor. This is how our church showed our love for our neighbor. Tell the person next to you, proud ka ba? May ginawa tayo. Amen? So, naging successful. Hindi tayo natulog sa pansitan. Kasi sabi ko kay Pastor Bert, Pastor Bert, someday matatapos ang COVID-19. And if we look back, tatanungin natin sarili natin, bilang krisyano, anong ginawa natin? Paano natin pinakita na mahal sila ng Panginoong Yesus? Right? Kaya ngayon, very proud tayo, not because we achieved this, but because we obeyed the Holy Spirit. Amen? Number 11, the Holy Spirit sends us. Again, I told you, I'm not in the, you know, I'm not, I'm not, uh, what do you call this, comfortable asking money from other people. But in November, there, there was this another tragic incident. Remember Typhoon Ulysses, right? So what happened is this time, no, nag-usap-usap kami sa leadership, kumbaga, tay, kahit tayo-tay lang, magtulungan. Nagkukwentuhan kami yung magkapatid, and we saw the devastating effect of this typhoon. No? And then uh, I got to know Pastor Vic, na who happens na classmate ko pala siya nung high school, na naging pastor na din ngayon. And uh, he helped us. So nagkaroon tayo ng two relief distribution sa San Mateo at sa Montalban. Naalala ko, ito yung unang-unang pera, pinikturan niya pa, yung unang-unang pera ang pinadala natin. 
In fact, yan lang naman talaga yung bala kong ipadala pera. Dali naman ako mayaman. Kasi sabi, kong magka, sabi namin magkapatid, tulong, magtulungan tayo. Pero alam nyo, we did that no, because we heard from the Holy Spirit. And then, help came along. The Holy Spirit talked to other people, to other believers, even non-believers helped. So we were able to send lots of help to many people who are in need. Ayan. So nakapamili tayo, nakapagpakain tayo ng libo-libong tao, nakapag-distribute tayo, nakapagpagawa tayo, ng, uh, nakatulong tayo magpagawa ng ibang bahay. No? So actually, kung tatanungin nyo kung magkano pera lang ang pinadala natin, hindi malaki, pero ang laki ng impact. No, in, in, in fact, there were two organizations who gave money to us, two checks, because they saw the the pictures and the videos, no, that we were posting in Facebook. They gave, they gave us money, no, to support this project. Kaya yung kapatid ko, yan. Sabi dito, when the Holy Spirit comes on you, you will be my witnesses, and it's better to be a good witness, no. Not just by saying that Jesus loves you or, you know, I will pray for you. Do something. I remember my sister asked me, Kaya, Kuya, ano sasabihin ko kung saan ito galing? Sabihin ko ba yung pangalan ng church nyo or whatever? Or, you know, sabi, sabi ko sa kanya, sabihin mo, galing kay Lord. That's it. Lahat ng iba sabihin. No? 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 no. Umaga, what, we, we're not expecting anything in return. Right? But, I tell you, if you are one who supported all these projects, God bless you and expect na gantihan kayo ng Panginoon. Amen? The Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I called them. Acts 13, 2. You see, even the Holy Spirit no, is the one orchestrating yung tinatawag na mission trip. The Spirit commissions us to do the ministry just like what we did in the Philippines during the time of Typhoon Ulysses. He sends us out to work. Physically, it's, 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 it's impossible for us to be there. But, no, when you dig deep doon sa pocket mo at binigay mo isang bagay na mahalaga sa'yo, the Lord appreciates that. Amen? Kaya excited na ako matapos ang COVID-19 na to. I want to teach each and every one, not just to pray, not just to give, but let us go out there and do mission trips. Amen? Amen? And let's, uh, kumbaga, let's savor yung sarap ng pakiramdam na ginagamit ka ng Panginoon. At alam mo na nakangiti siya sa'yo. Amen? Sabi nga ni Dwight L. Moody, nag-text din kayo na sa'kin, sa sabi niya, There is not a better evangelist in the world than the Holy Spirit. Amen? It was the Holy Spirit who told me, do this. Get, uh, uh, get, uh, you're not soliciting. You're giving them opportunity to bless people so that I can bless them. Right? Kaya pinakamaganda, pinakamagaling na evangelist, Holy Spirit. Last, as I end, the Holy Spirit prays for us. Amen? We do not know what we ought to pray for, the Spirit Himself intercedes for us in accordance with God's will. Next experience na ba yan? Hindi mo alam. Minsan, yung pananalangin, minsan, you just groan. Minsan, alam mo yun, nautal ka, and di mo alam. Pero the Holy Spirit will lead you in prayer. We do not know what we ought to pray for. The Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness and prays for us as we may fulfill God's will for our lives. Imagine mo, dun pa sa kahinaan mo, tutulong pa rin siya. Kaya sabi natin kanina eh, ang Holy Spirit, nandyan kapag ka aware ka. Kahit hindi ka aware, hindi ka niya iiwan, nandyan pa rin siya. That's why we are focusing on our prayer ministry this coming 20 plans of ours for our church. We will intensify prayer ministry. There will be teammates who will come along, and I'm excited about that. Not only we will have 
an annual New Year prayer and fasting, but we will also have another one, a mid-year annual prayer and fasting by July. Why? Because we need to pray and fast. Gusto nyo na magawa natin yung pinapatrabaho ng Panginoon? We need to pray and fast. No? Kaya nga, doble yung effort natin. No? We do Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, ano na, Saturday. No? We, we, we try to give a five-minute video to our flock and to other people who listen and watch us in Nourish My Soul. Every Wednesday, we have 7 p.m. Walk Through the Bible Virtual Midweek. Pwede mong fast yun. Lahat ng mga sa Biblia, from Genesis to Revelation, isa-summarize ko para sa inyo. Para ma-encourage kayo to read the Bible. Every Friday, 8 to 9 p.m., one hour lang Bible study of what we talked about today. Kasi para ma-absorb natin yung pinag-uusapan natin. And every Sunday, may choice ka, pwedeng in-person or online. No, Almost every day, a ministry. Why? Kasi minsan ka lang mabubuhay. Eventually, pagdating mo sa heaven, wala ka nang evangelize doon. Kasi lahat doon, Christians. So hanggat may pagkakataon ka, gawin mo na ngayon. Bigay todo na. Patay kung patay. Walang preno, tudo-tudo, sabi nga. As I end, remember, be blessed. The Lord gives His Holy Spirit without limit to all who ask. That is the key word you just need to ask. Amen? Let us pray. Let's bow down our heads and let us pray. Thank you, my dear Holy Spirit. Lord, among the three, Jesus, we're familiar with the Heavenly Father, but we never thought that the Holy Spirit is the one working in us, leading us, helping us, consoling us, comforting us, aiding us, advising us. And we thank you, Lord God, for your faithfulness. Even though we are aware or not aware, you're still there. Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you for making us... Uh, 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 to, allowing us to know more about who the, who the Holy Spirit is. Lord God, we pray for those people, Lord God, who are suffering from COVID-19. We remember them in our prayers, Lord. We ask, Lord God, that you heal them right away, today, at this very moment, by the blood of Christ, we speak of healing to these people. And may you eradicate, Lord God, this pandemic. And may we go back to our old normal. We love you. We praise you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Amen. The moment you trust in Christ as your Lord and Savior, you will receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's why I would like to give an opportunity for those people, especially who are watching us and listening to us. No? To, to lead you in a prayer no, that, 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 can, uh, uh, that can assure you that you accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins. I ask for your forgiveness. I am a sinner, but I believe that you died upon the cross for me, that you shed your precious blood for the forgiveness of my sins. I accept you now as my Savior, my Lord, my God, my friend. Come into my heart and set me free from my sins. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let's give the best clap offering for God. Back to us, Cross